Hello everyone, welcome to Plax's 3D Shallow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. The, this is a very comprehensive course about the uh, simulation of shallow foundation under different loading condition using Plax's uh, 3D. It contains a wide range of uh, uh, shallow foundation tutorials uh, and uh, actually practical uh, shallow foundation application using Plaxis, uh, the, uh, Plaxis uh, 3D. So it uh, it will contain about uh, 50 to uh, yes it will contains about 40 to uh, 50 tutorials uh, of shallow foundation using Plaxis uh, 3D. Uh, so in the first uh, lesson I want to give a short uh, introduction about the plexus so uh, what is the plexus and what are the geotechnical applications that can be performed using uh, this software and also i will give a short introduction about the uh, soil constitutive models and uh, uh, actually there are a lot of uh, soil constitutive models and i will just uh, talk about uh, some of them that we are going to use in our course using plaxis 3d so what is plaxis 3d plaxis is a very powerful uh, software it was actually uh, developed uh, in 1987 at delft technical university in netherland and it was uh, uh, originally conceived to uh, solve the specific challenge of analyzing river embankment on uh, soft ground using uh, a finite finite element method so uh, after that plaxis undergone a very uh, important development and uh, expansion and uh, right now it is a very uh, famous and powerful geotechnical software and a lot of uh, engineers and uh, geotechnical expert and researchers use uh, the plexus for uh, uh, various uh, or for various purposes so what are the geotechnical applications that uh, we can uh, perform using plexus 3d uh, for example uh, foundation uh, design plexus or finite element method in general can uh, estimate the bearing capacity and uh, settlement and uh, structure interaction in the design of foundation for buildings, bridges, dams and various structures. Uh, like uh, this figure as you see it is a combined or tra trapezoidal combined uh, footing. We have a uh, model and we will also uh, going to uh, make a tutorial about in plexus uh, 3d so it is a very good program uh, for uh, simulation of uh, foundation design or optimization of foundation design uh, uh, such as split footing or maybe bridge foundation embankment foundation or uh, piled rough foundation and uh, every uh, each types of the foundation it is also uh, a uh, very good uh, software for analysis of uh, slope uh, stabilities and it uh, uh, since the uh, plexus uh, 3d is a deformation analysis uh, software so it uh, uses the phi uh, c or phi internal friction angle cohesion reduction method which which is a finite element method and uh, calculate the stability and factor of safety of uh, slopes in uh, under uh, different loading conditions also uh, it is used for uh, simulation of tunnels and uh, excavation uh, design so we can use plexus to uh, estimate uh, how how uh, excavation of tunnels affected on nearby structures and also it can be used for deep excavation design and shoring system also this uh, software can be used for uh, seepage analysis uh, under uh, the hydraulic structures like uh, dams or any other hydraulic structures it is also it is also used for settlement analysis 
uh, in uh, special in clay uh, soils so it can estimate the settlement of the structure and uh, consolidation over uh, the time also uh, various uh, type of retaining wall uh, can be simulated using uh, the plexus series under uh, different loading condition also the factor of safety or in general the stability of the retaining wall can be estimated as well it also can be used in pavement uh, analysis it uh, analyzes uh, the pavement behavior and the traffic loads or moving loads uh, for road and runway design and maintenance it is also very powerful uh, software that can be used uh, to uh, estimate the uh, response of the building during the earthquake or vibration or dynamic loads. Uh, also, uh, the deep foundation uh, can be simulated like uh, uh, the piled raft foundation can be uh, analyzed in Plexus uh, 3D. So uh, it uh, it the soil structure interaction between the soil and piles and uh, the raft can be simulated and investigated using plexus uh, 3d as you can see uh, in this figure so this example also however uh, this course is about the uh, shallow foundation but uh, maybe some other examples like this one like a pile raft foundation will be included in the course uh, also it can uh, be used uh, to make a full uh, 3d of uh, the building and how the soil behaves under uh, each uh, construction phase of the building so this example also will be included in the course another uh, thing that i mentioned before i want to talk about it is uh, uh, plexus uh, soil constitutive models so what is a constitutive models a constitutive model in uh, a soil or in a geotechnical in general in geotechnical engineering uh, describe how uh, the soil behaves under uh, different uh, conditions of stress and uh, strain so we can say it is a relationship between uh, stress and strain for uh, a specific type of the soil and uh, 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 so, uh, so how it will it means how it will compress and shear or expand under the load conditions so this come this understanding is very important for a uh, designing of foundation embankment retaining walls and uh, other structures that interact with the ground so in general we have uh, many constitutive models in uh, of soil or in geotechnical engineering and uh, there are uh, many also constitutive models included in the plexus but in here I will just uh, surely talk about some of them uh, that we will use them in our course for example uh, the first one is linear elastic model this is a very basic and we as engineer all know about this uh, constitutive models so it represents the soil behavior using uh, Hoch's law, which is a very famous law between uh, the relationship between the stress and uh, strain, and uh, it also it only have two par parameters: the elasticity modulus and Poisson's ratio. However, uh, this uh, constitutive models maybe can be uh, a good choice for uh, like a hard material like a concrete or very hard rock but actually uh, th th there is a limitation while uh, using this uh, constructive model for soils because the soil is uh, a nonlinear material so uh, this uh, constructive model generally used in uh, for defining the structures like retaining walls or concrete dams uh, in uh, plexus 3d so another uh, constitutive model is a mohr column model <coughs> uh, this model uh, represents the stress and strain behavior in an elastoplastic form as we can see in this figure it contains of two parts the first part is uh, 
uh, elast uh, elastic region and after that it becomes a plastic so it is uh, an elastoplastic form uh, and also it requires a five parameters modulus of elasticity poison ratio cohesion internal friction angle and dilation angle uh, also another parameter is uh, very important uh, in this model which is k naught which is a uh, uh, coefficient at uh, rest earth pressure generally the software uh, automatically calculated uh, based on the other parameters you entered uh, in the uh, model also uh, this model facilitate uh, the creation of initial horizontal stress since it calculates the uh, coefficient uh, of earth pressure at rest uh, also in this model uh, the modulus of elasticity is uh, remain constant uh, uh, throughout the deformation uh, uh, since it is elastoplastic representation it often leads to uh, efficient calculations however it also have uh, its limitation uh, because for example elasticity in soil is a uh, stress based uh, dependent it depends on the stress but in this model it remains constant uh, throughout the analysis another model is soft uh, soil model and this model generally used for estimation of consolidation settlement uh, using the plexus uh, 2d or 3d uh, uh, and uh, the parameters which are needed for uh, this uh, constructive model is internal friction angle, cohesion, dilation angle, also the modified compaction, uh, the modified compaction index, and also modified swelling index. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, what is the modified compaction and modified swelling index? We can uh, see in this figure it is a, a relationship between the volumetric strain and mean uh, stress in the soil so uh, another uh, model which also used for soft uh, soil it is soft soil creep model it is uh, nearly similar to the soft soil model except that in this model the modified creep uh, index is included in the uh, model it also uh, estimates the settlement of a structure or in the soil uh, for a very long time due to the creep uh, as we can see in here the C also which uh, is the same as a U asterisk it is the similar uh, another model uh, another constructive model which is uh, hardening soil model and this is a very advanced uh, soil constitutive model if you compare to the Mohr column and in this model uh, there are uh, three elasticity modulus that are used in the uh, model which are the E50 uh, which is the second modulus uh, of the soil and also the uh, uh, reloading and loading uh, elasticity modulus also the audiometer elasticity which are which uh, can be which can be obtained from the audiometer or consolidation uh, test and this is a, a very uh, uh, advanced constitutive model and if you compare to the Mohr column it is uh, much better than the Mohr column and uh, also, this is uh, another uh, hardening soil model which is similar to the hardening soil model but this hardening soil model is hardening soil model with small strain so it can estimate uh, the behavior of the soil in uh, a very small uh, strain so uh, this model is uh, valuable for for applications like settlement during construction where early stage soil uh, response is uh, crucial uh, there's another thing i want to mention about also uh, this uh, uh, this uh, soil constitutive model is uh, very suitable for 
uh, suitable for dynamic analysis because it offers a comprehensive method for capturing soil behavior in various loading conditions, especially uh, for earthquake and uh, dynamic loads. And uh, the parameters are similar to the hardening soil models. Uh, also, these two parameters uh, are needed G0 uh, reference and uh, 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 gamma 07. What are these two parameters? This uh, is a refer uh, reference uh, shear modulus at very small strain, uh, less than 10 to power minus 6. Also, uh, Gamma 0 0.7. It is a threshold uh, shear strain, which at which uh, GS equal 0 0.77 G node. Uh, so this was a very uh, short introduction about the Blaxis software and constitutive models. Actually, I will uh, uh, I intend to make a more a comprehensive uh, tutorial about the different uh, types of uh, constitutive models and uh, the suitability for each constitutive model for a, a specific application and what are uh, the benefits of each constitutive models and what are the limitations for each uh, constitutive models. So uh, this was uh, the first uh, lecture of this course. Uh, see you in the uh, next lesson.